welcome welcome everyone thank you so much for choosing to time spend your time and energy today in the efi community the efi gym it's a brave space where we can all come and utilize a range of different tools and modalities and they're designed to help us release the charge the intensity of emotions and process that and then show up as who and how we want to be coming into that alignment so a really special place to be and thank you for being here. My name is Kelsey Corey. I'm an emotional fitness coach and the founder of Energy for Impact. And in our session together today, I'm going to be guiding you through as we explore the powerful tool of anchoring. And this is a, an amazing tool that can help you activate any desired emotional or energetic state at any time that you need. Okay, so before we dive into this session, I'm going to invite us all to really ground and arrive, knowing that we've come from wherever we were in the day, and our brains may be also thinking about where we've got to go. So let's take a moment to center and arrive, and I'll guide us through a few breaths. If you would like to introduce and include some EFT tapping in combination with this, then I invite you to do so, okay? So go ahead and just take a hand to the heart and a hand to the belly. And you might take your gaze onto a far distant, distant point, or you might close your eyes down. Just take an easy breath, releasing an exhale. On the next inhale, taking it deep to the belly, filling up completely. Hold at the top for a moment, relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. And then exhale, allow that breath to come out through a pursed lip, as if you're blowing out some birthday candles right to the bottom right until you're empty at which point you may pause for a second and then fill up again inhaling deeply hold and relax exhale completely One more of those in your own time and rhythm. Allow your breath to return to its easy natural pace. And take a moment to thank yourself and appreciate that you've chosen to be a part of this practice today, to show up for yourself in this way. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, blink back, open the eyes. And we have arrived. I'm going to talk you through a quick little intro to anchoring, just to really paint the picture and we can understand what it is that we are embarking upon today. So anchoring is a technique that is based upon the stimulus response effect that was pioneered by the Russian researcher Ivan Pavlov back in 1904. And so it is an NLP technique. I, I uh, was introduced to it in my NLP certification. And so what it does, it's involving creating a connection between an emotional state and a sensory signal. So something that invites connection to any of your five senses. And then you can connect with that and use it to support you to embody that emotional energetic state anytime that you choose. So have you experienced anchoring before? Let me know in the chat if you have, or if this is your first time. And as we go along, I'll let you, let you do that, but also to point out here that we all do have natural anchors that we have unconsciously created from our different experiences, particularly those that created deep emotion within us. Okay, first official time, I love it. <laughs> So for example, if you have certain songs that spark an energetic or emotional reaction, different smells, different places, physical environments, certain people, certain aspects of touch, all of these are examples of natural anchors that you may have, and they may be ones that either lead you to feel uncomfortable or comfortable emotional states. So they have arisen, and I'm intrigued if you can connect with, as you've heard me explain this, any particular one that you're like, oh yeah, right? Oh, I do have that already. <laughs> so that is you using the tool of anchoring already in your life. 
And so what I love to do in my coaching sessions, particularly one-on-one with clients, is to really use anchoring as this tool to help to consciously create who and how you're wanting to show up as in life. Beautiful. And so today what we're going to do is set you up for success with that by installing a resource anchor. And so what will happen is that whenever you need to and want to embody these emotional states, this anchor will become your go-to resource, your support mechanism to help you embody it as you need. So what we're going to do is begin by identifying what those energetic and emotional states are, who and how do you want to be, and then we'll proceed to install the anchor. Before we even go there, we need to identify and decide where on your body would you like to install this anchor today? We are going to install it as a resource anchor based on touch. And so typical places that people use are the knuckles. So you can be using any of the any of the particular knuckles. Some people even like to use the thumb. The fingers tend to be a little bit easier. Otherwise, there can be the earlobe. So if you were to take out an earring, you could squeeze and gently tug down that could be the activation the anchor for you i have a client who installed one on the nape of the neck Whoop. on the nape of the neck here so just kind of like whenever they reach back and just it's like it's like a button think of it like a button on your body that you can use and it's not something that you would typically be um you know just in everyday life or if you already have connection to that spot needs to be unique today there's also you could use the middle of the throat here just a gentle relax like relax your finger into that thinking of squeezing the thumb or any of the fingers could be a good little activation so as i've been describing these what's coming up for you take a few moments and choose which place on your body you're going to activate your anchor today and let me know in the chat once you've got that Once you've got that, I'm going to bring that up. Beautiful. Yes, and we've got certain smells take me back to memories. Yes, absolutely. Smell is one of the strongest uh, senses that we can create anchors with and or naturally have them existing. I love it. Okay. Where are you going to be installing your anchor today? Hmm. Hmm. So just drop in the chat, even just a thumbs up, you don't have to say where it is. Cool. So we've got the knuckles. Beautiful. So choose one knuckle. So it just needs to be one. And as you can see, we're just going to kind of line up and it will be so that you can apply the same amount of pressure to it each time. Okay. So it's seen some thumbs up here. Beautiful. Okay. I love it. All right. So we'll keep ourselves going. And so what we'll do now is we'll connect in with what those energetic and emotional states are that we are going to do. I love it. Thumbs up coming through. Excited, excited. So I'm going to take you on a little journey, guide you there so that you can drop in and come to that place. And what we're going to do is identify an experience in the future, something that you have coming up, whether it's something you know of or a desired experience that you're calling in and identify one to three of these states as as that you would like to be able to embody in that experience. So it may be like the next time that you're having an important conversation and you really want to feel calm and compassionate in that state or perhaps it's as you perhaps it's a reoccurring experience if you have trouble sleeping so it's next time you go to bed you want to be able to feel relaxed and at ease or perhaps you've got a big presentation coming up or it's a it's something to do with work and it's like an experience or an interaction that other times you might feel uncomfortable emotions but today we're going to invite you to show up as who and how you wish to be and so perhaps if it's something like that you'd want to feel really grounded and energized so those are a few examples just to plant those seeds and so we're going to take a little moment to drop in and connect with those okay so i'm going to pop some tunes on Mm, going to invite you 
to release a sigh, sit or lie comfortably. And if resting those hands on the heart and the belly feel comfortable again, do so. If closing the eyes feels good, do that too. And just take a little moment to reconnect with your breath now. And trust that your subconscious mind is going to guide you and support you here in this. Taking you to where you need to go. Helping you to cultivate, curate your emotional state. You're going to come into the observer role now. So I invite you to float up and as if you're leaving your body, look down and see yourself as you are right now. Create that imaginary separateness. See the details of your positioning, the color of your clothing, the way you're wearing your hair. Stay connected to the breath as you float further away now, up and up and up like a balloon, high into the sky. You're going to turn towards your future. just as you're using your imagination, time and space become an illusion and like a rocket you blast forward out into the future to an experience you would like to create who and how you're going to show up, who and how you will be. So as you're blasting along, you begin to slow down as you reach that event. And as you do, you'll stay hovering above it, looking down. See the future you. Notice what they're wearing. Notice the environment that they're in. What is the experience that they're having? is it that you would like to feel? You hold the power within you to decide that right now for your future self. How would you like to feel? Choose one to three of these feelings. And as you connect with them, let your future self know that you'll be back again in a moment. For now, Take those desired states and feel your rocket blast you back. Might have a little bit of whiplash as you come all the way back to hovering over now. 
and gently float back down into your body, landing in the present, wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers and opening your eyes. Take a little moment, look around you and see if you can find something that's colored red. What's the first thing around you? Maybe there's a few things. <sighs> Shake it up a little. So we come back into now. Beautiful. Okay, so we have our desired states. <laughs> Time to anchor them in. So you've chosen the anchor place that you are going to situate them. So whether that be a knuckle or whether that be somewhere else, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to go with this little spot here. <laughs> okay. And so now we are going to go back into the past to connect with and choosing the first of your state. So in whatever particular order. And if you don't have multiple, if there's just one that you really want to embody, we're going to repeat that and anchor that in the three times. Okay, so we'll go for this three times. All right, but we're going to go back into the past and connect with the time when you have felt this previously, so that we can connect with and embody it fully and anchor it in. So set your finger up, set that hover up, and I'll guide you through this. If you'd like, I invite you to close your eyes again now and take a little moment to reflect back. Can you remember a time when you felt this state entirely? You totally had this experience. Whatever the emotion is that you're calling in, a time when you felt that. Can you remember a specific time? As you do, I want you to go back to that time now. Looking through your own eyes, step into your body, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard and feeling what you felt. Connecting in, totally embodying that feeling. Turn up the brightness of that experience. And when you are at the height of connecting with that emotion, press down on your anchor point. Connecting with it, building it up and up and up. Then as it begins to fade, remove your finger. Release the sigh. And take a moment to come back into the now. <laughs> Beautiful. When you come back to now, look around you. What is it that's around you that's purple this time? What can you see that's purple? Hmm. So go ahead and give me a reaction or drop in the chat. If that was a positive connection, with that emotion, if you feel that that anchor has been installed as we frame it, and we'll prepare ourselves to move on to the next one. But of course, first, I'm gonna invite you to do a little test. So take a little moment, hover over, and then just tap on your anchor, just lightly activating it, seeing if it invites in that connection with that memory and that emotion. Mm, release it. Ooh, here we go. Let's install our next one. So here we are doing what's called stacking anchors. So we're going to really build up all of these beautiful emotional states. 
If though you are just focusing on one, that's okay. You'll just go to a different memory this time, all right? <sighs> so set your finger up to hover over. Take a breath. See on the screen of your mind, the next emotion or energetic state that you are focusing on anchoring right now. Mm. Can you go back now to a time when you felt that emotion totally embodied? Can you go back to a specific time? Mm. Float down into your body in that experience and connecting in with what you saw, what you heard, what you felt as you were embodying that emotion. And as you connect with it, as it heightens, go ahead and install that anchor, dropping your finger on feeling it move through your body, that whole energetic emotional state. Take a full breath in and then gently releasing it off. Wiggle the toes, open the eyes, come back to the now. Oh, perhaps a nice little stretch after that one. Mm. We're doing some time traveling today, aren't we? <laughs> Forwards, backwards, connecting with all the vibes. <sighs> when you feel good, take a little moment to test that anchor now. So just drop in. Notice if you mm, embody that emotion as you connect with it as well as the first. We're creating that stack after you've done that test. Maybe take a sip of water. And if you have a third one, here we go for it. We're going to stack it on top. Or if you had two, choose which one you would like to amplify. Okay. If you're with the one, we're going to go strong again. <laughs> So set yourself up, hovering over. Mm. <sighs> A breath to guide you. Focus inward. See on the screen of the mind that third state. Mm. State you're connecting with. And then ask your subconscious to show you Connect you with a memory of a time when you felt that way. Mm. You felt totally in that state. Mm. Can you connect to a specific time? Go ahead and drop into that moment. Connecting with that memory, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard and feeling what you felt as you totally embodied that. And as you connect with that now, and as it heightens and strengthens within you, you'll install that anchor by dropping the finger down. And on your next exhale, release that finger. Blink back, open the eyes, come into the now. Here we are. <sighs> mm, shake things off a little. <sighs> mm, beautiful work. Beautiful work. How are we feeling? Show me a reaction. Drop in the chat. <sighs> mm, it's time to test all three of these anchors. Whether it's one emotion, really strong, all three of them in this beautiful concoction or a combination of any of that. When you feel good, 
drop in and do a test. Mm. Quite incredible to know that we can embody multiple emotions all at once. That is the natural part of the human experience. <sighs> you come out of that test. We're going to do a future pacing now by connecting back in with our future self and giving them this experience. So come comfortably into your seat. Or lying down, feeling yourself fully supported. Drop in. Set up your hands so the finger is hovering. Go ahead and close your eyes. You will once more float up and out of your body. Higher and higher and higher. Until you get to that height that point at which you turn to face your future and in the blink of an eye you're transported back to this future event. You're hovering over it now and if you would like I'm going to invite you to drop down into it embodying your future self taking a moment to breathe into that. <sighs> Noticing the experience that you're having, the environment around you, the way that you're holding your body. Once you feel connected, Go ahead and activate your anchor. Dropping your finger on and inviting in all of those emotional states into that very moment. Allow the scene to play out as you are feeling this way. Notice any sensations in your body, any responses that you have to this experience now. And as the emotion fades, you'll lift your finger and just spend a moment here with your future self and ask for any guidance, any support that they offer. Thank your future self. And when it's time, allow yourself to come back up out of that situation, that experience hovering above once more. Once there, you'll turn around, facing back towards now, and in the blink of an eye, you transport back to hovering above yourself in this moment. And gently with ease, your awareness settles back into your body. You land here and wiggle the toes, 
Wiggle the fingers, maybe some beautiful circles on the heart. We come back into now. <sighs> Connected, supported. Take a little moment, look around you. Reorient yourself in the present. feeling there's a word that describes the experience that you've just had mm. anchoring is quite an incredible tool as I mentioned and there are a variety of ways in which we can use it so today we installed a resource anchor by stacking it on so you can do that with just one, one repetition, but we went for the stack. There are also opportunities in a one-on-one -on -one session environment to explore collapsing anchors. So these can be used when there is a specific reoccurring uh, uncomfortable or negative state that is being experienced and you would like to collapse that out. Or well, there's also chaining anchors. And these are used when the stuck state is a little too far apart, like it's, a, it's quite big and the collapsing doesn't feel possible at once. So we would chain some difference. It's a whole different approach, but it's really quite incredible. Incredible how we can use the power of our mind, the power of our imagination to evoke emotional states and help shift ourselves and create sustainable shifts as well. And so some of the benefits of using this tool of anchoring is really to help you feel empowered and support yourself. You now have this resource. You now know that at any time, whether it's in that future experience or any time between now and then and into the future that you want to evoke and connect with these states, you can just drop in, activate and allow it to become who you would, who and how you're being in that moment. That's going to help to increase your self-connection and the trust that you have with yourself, that you hold the power to create your state. And that's going to lead to you showing up how you like to, improving your performance, changing your productivity, making you more confident, giving you an ability to focus. There's so many benefits that anchoring can bring to you. <sighs> and so, as I mentioned, you can also install them with all five of the senses. So whether it be that you would like to, you know, repeat this experience and do this, but with a song or with a sound, um, another type of sound or with taste or smells that you can do, you can revisit this session today and repeat it that way. And then the other thing that you can do is if you're interested and you'd want to feel empowered to experience this in a one-on-one -on -one setting, you can always head to the website and find out about the various ways that you can engage one-on-one -on -one in some emotional fitness coaching with that. Yay, 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 yay. So whether it was your first anchoring experience or you've just added another anchor to your support system, I thank you so much for choosing to be a part of this experience today and letting me know that how it was for you feeling buzzed in a really good way. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to the next opportunity that we get to share energy together. Mm, if there's any questions at all, I'll stick around and answer those. Drop them in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll connect soon. Oh, beautiful, feeling empowered. I love it. Yay!